Jay Gurudev, welcome to Mahashi's Global Family Chat on Tuesday, the 22nd of October, 2013. And now we move south to Invincible Latin America, and it'll be such a joy to hear from Raja Luis again. Welcome, Raja Luis Ji. And Jay Gurudev, this one. Jay Gurudev, welcome. We wanted to um, show the movie of Dr. Uh, Father Mejia lecture, but it was not possible because it technically requires a little bit more time, video says. So uh, I will explain a little bit what it is and we'd like to share what it meant, but we'll have probably to make some other time to show it um, and, and to, as it's a very important lecture, so it will be good to show it in the family chat when, whenever it's possible. Is, that will be all right? Yes, uh, any time you would like to, Raju Luis G, any day we can do it. Give a context to this. We, we all have heard that uh, Father Mejia is doing a very important activity in Colombia with his Hogares Claret, which is an organization for under, taking care of underprivileged children and offenders and drug, addic drug addiction. Eh? Yes. But um, the context of this conference is he is also the president of the Latin American Federation of Therapeutic Communities, which is an organization with 27 countries that develops programs for therapeutic approaches for underprivileged children, drug addiction, young offenders, prisons, anyone needing rehabilitation and support and care in society. And in quality of president of this federation, um, he gave like what we can say like a master speech to the Congress celebrated in Santiago de Chile on this weekend, where all these leaders, government leaders and federations and um, psychologists, social workers and people all over the continent, which they are searching for solutions in this field. And why we want everyone to know about this or we want everyone to listen about this lecture is because uh, Father Mejia, after an evolution of 20, 30 years on therapeutic communities supporting the parts from all, any concept of rehabilitation, the parts from any concept of punishment or any concept of limited approaches to human development and finds consciousness-based education at the core of the transformation of the social systems of rehabilitation in Latin America. And the lecture is lecture given to everyone in this field. And in 50 minutes of lecture, he introduces Transcendental Meditation, TMCD program, Yogic Flying, the Maharishi Effect, the requirement of make them all yogic flyers in their communities and launches like a, like a new direction of leadership for all these uh, very large communities in Latin America. So because of that, that we think it's important. The implications of this is that yesterday we thought together uh, to launch, we have been thinking for some time, but after this lecture and the, the reaction immediately to the lecture where many, many of the countries, they say to implement it immediately on their countries and to have like a very large program where rehabilitation is switch in the concept, uh, it becomes unified field and a recommendation to the World Federation, which includes oh, 192 countries and United Nations to change the approach to human development. So it's an historical um, development because it gives the opportunity to play the full dignity of Mahesh's knowledge in this field and uh, to be able to give it the, the area needed. That means all the countries in the world uh, able to adopt it. So what exactly happen is that Father Mejia realized that um, 
it's a complete failure what is being done until now. Even in the name of trying to take care of the people and make them feel better, there is no other tool to unfold the infinite human potential that a person has. And the lack of this unfoldment is the cause of so many problems and not the other way around. And because he has understood that very deeply and because he has experienced 4,500 children, either they are meditators or seeders in his communities, and he sees that uh, just having that at the core of the system changes the whole concept, he then decided to request that this becomes the central policy of all these uh, therapeutic communities. And yesterday, as a follow-up, we decided to, to implement this program now in all the communities. Not we, At the moment, we're having a program, very intense program in Colombia. But from this moment on, uh, it has been thought that we will be having the same program for all these 27 countries. We will be training uh, teachers of transcendental meditation in some of these institutions, and our existing teachers will be available to teach all these projects. But what it means for us is two things very precious. One, it's possible to create a new way to create life free from stress for the people that has been damaged or has been lived very difficult situations in life. And second, those same people that they have been objects and they have been more sensitive to violence or to difficulties and that's why they have been in this situation. Now they are the tools through a program to take out from everyone else this. And in that, Father Mejia feels that all his beliefs as a priest and as a Christian, as, a, as, a, as someone that really was searching to help thy neighbor in a full way they are fulfilled, and like his role in life is fulfilled through Mahesi's uh, Transcendental Meditation and TMCD program because it gives not only this benefic beneficial value to each individual, but it creates an umbrella of social transformation unprecedented in this field. So on the basis of this uh, development, on the basis of this understanding, on the basis of the reaction of all these leaders of the federations and communities, we are launching a new program. Uh, it's beyond our capacity, but uh, nature will help us to increase our capacity, whereby all these hundreds of thousands of children in Latin America will have this program, and they'll be the tools of eliminating the, the, the violence and the poverty, the ones that they have been more heated and more, more suffering from it. And this uh, transforming poison into nectar program, and this ability of Mahesh's knowledge to create m from something so complex, something that is very simple, but it's a very deep uh, solution, brought Father Mejia to his tears and fulfillment yesterday, like saying that uh, Mahesh must be smiling, seeing that his heavenly blessings are now becoming the reality of every one of his children in Latin America, and he feels also fulfilled. In these special days of transformation of the world, when everything is possible, when we see so many developments in every direction, we also see the stories of, of uh, people that have believed that something is possible to, to get changed, and that problems like drugs or social conflicts, terrorism, underprivileged life, all the most difficulties that the young generation experience in many developing societies have now a program that covers their requirements, fulfills their aspirations, and makes them the stars of the transformation of their time. <laughs> and that is for him absolutely fulfillment. For us, it's a great joy to, to be able to play a part in this, and we are just now launching it under his leadership in a big way, not just in Colombia, where we have been doing it, but now becomes a program for all Latin America, and we will have been done in Latin America for this year. In the World Congress of next year, we will present it to be prepared for the whole world, because we think it's not a problem of Latin America, it's a problem of every country in the world, 
And if there is a solution and it's working, everyone should be able to know it. And if they want, they should be have the possibility to apply it. So this is in encapsulated, Dr. Swan, the, what we wanted the people to know that has happened in the last days with Father Mejia and this project. And it has it's taken a it's taken a great shape, mm -hmm. and many 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 communities, many governments, many many people, many social other organizations, NGOs. To put an example, we have in in Latin America and also in the in the U.S. the the Organization of American States, which is a like a multilateral government organization. They were present there and they have supported all this resolution. It is unprecedented. It's um, a great fulfillment of a great saint, a, a person that has really blossomed in allowing Mahesh's knowledge to, to do what he's able to do if we allow it. And we want to honor him and we want to honor this program and we want to honor all this, everyone in Latin America that now, even having been in the most difficult conditions, they'll be the tools for creation of heaven and earth in their nations. This was the the news we wanted to give. There are many other news, but we will uh, want to give to this news a big uh, headline because of um, the fulfillment of the life of Father Mejia and our satisfaction to, to contribute to that. Thank you, Roger Luis. This is absolutely wonderful to hear of uh, Father Mejia's great fulfillment, his great success, his great uh, presentation to the Latin American Federation of Therapeutic Communities, in which he requested from them that consciousness-based education be made the core of social rehabilitation. And this he did in a 15-minute uh, presentation. Uh, five, five zero, five zero. Five zero. It's very, very quick to cover all those points. And he was successful. The, they voted to, to adopt it as the core, or what happened? Yes, it's uh, adopted as a core. These 27 countries, and we are speaking of hundreds of organizations and okay. governments. And it's, it's like a real uh, social movement and number of organizations all over dedicated to this and the fact that this becomes uh, even for example in some of the agreements they have with some governments they have included that consciousness-based education should be the core of the solution and it has been accepted by the government as has been requested by the leaders of this federation so they are taking a role to take Mahesh's knowledge unprecedented mm. and so now of course, we can see that this is a tremendous fulfillment for Father Mejia, that really this is, this is the fulfillment of his life's work, that all his 20, 30 years of working with the uh, unfortunate people who have fallen in the way of drugs or violence or crime or whatever, now they become the means to raise up the whole society. So this is, and also solve their own problem and become completely comfortable in themselves and have a way of living life very successfully in a in a harmonious way with society. So now you will be launching a new program for 27 countries? Yes, we, we already launched it yesterday. Father Mejia has communicated to everyone our decision and he's telling them Mahesh's movement is going now to give them the tools for fulfilling their goals and uh, the trained teacher will start to teach them. It's a major undertaking because in each country, these organizations, they have thousands and thousands of children. So we are talking very large numbers, but it's more than the numbers. It's the policy of a system that decides it's the time to don't to take away the word rehabilitation and to take the word punishment and to, to take the word uh, changing the people by, by from outside to self-referral transformation from within. And that's what it means. And that, that is a new trend. But she said long time ago that rehabilitation had to be self-referral based, not object referral. And he said this because we cannot even call it rehabilitation anymore. We have to call it education. It's 
just an education. It's lack of education who created that, so we have to educate the people. And education will fulfill the requirement of rehabilitation rather than uh, try to rehabilitate them from outside. That's beautiful, Raja Luis. Now, this is such an important key event, historic event, as you say. Will there be some, some way that we can get this out to everybody, a short version of the video with translation, a written uh, announcement? How, how will this be brought to all the governors, particularly all around the world and everybody who's working in the field of, uh, of education? We have, that's what I wanted to say, the lecture of Father Mejia he didn't say once the word rehabilitation. He only said education, education, education. And he, he was so bold in that this is the new way to go, that is uh, creating trends. So what we, th we, we have is we'll make a extract of the video huh. that we, we, we will be able to send to everyone in a link. And then we have a little pamphlet and a, and a, and a larger. We have to, we are seeing how to, we can organize to, to put them in English and in other languages. And this will, um, will show, this is a new trend, and we can show in any country, in any people specialized, and they will say, oh, oh, there is something new we have to learn and try, and it's working. Huh. So it's creating for our education program an opening in orphanage, in social care centers, in special educational units, in, 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 even in prisons, in everywhere where there is a need for social care, we now have a program ready to go, really ready to go. Hmm. This is great, Raja Luis. Congratulations to Father Mejia, please, and give him all our love and appreciation for this great, great achievement that he's brought about on top of his 20 or 30 years of, of helping so many uh, students uh, with consciousness-based education. And uh, we'd like to do everything we can to help to bring out this this great, great news to everybody around the world. So we can do a chat summary, which will go to about 5,000 people, and we'll ask for, for you to check that, that it's correct. And then uh, when the video is available and uh, the pamphlet, then we can also send that out. We can help you. That will be good, and I, I think it will be of a very great help to our governors, leaders, and meditators that they want to show in society um, that this is working and it is very mature. It, it is really consolidated. So, and, and Father Mejia said that um, gradually, gradually has been thinking in that, but now with all the support that we give him and all our program, which has been building up more and more and more and more in Colombia, he said, no more waiting. This becomes just a major launch, and so now we are we are on this, and we feel it's a fulfillment. It's another expansion of our education program, oriented to certain area of society, but but it's mm. a fulfillment of education. Congratulations! Absolutely wonderful, and uh, so <clears throat> no rehabilitation anymore, just education. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. So we'll close now, Raja Luisji. It's absolutely great, this. And uh, when we have the video, then we could uh, show it on Mahashi's Global Family Chat, either the full version or the short version. I think we should show both. We, we, I think we can do it. We can do it in two parts if it's too long for one chat mm. and then produce some material and, and follow it up because it will definitely help. Many people will, will open doors. Mm. And, and we can have the uh, governors of each country bring that to the uh, education and rehabilitation authorities and organizations in their countries. So we'll, we'll send to all our rajas and national directors and they will take it to and all our governors so they see that this is, um, is a ready meal for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> Not anymore being cook. <laughs> yes. Congratulations and thank you so much, Raja Luis G. It's thank just you. wonderful. Jay Gurudev, that is fine. Jay Gurudev. All glory to Mahashiji for sowing these seeds, bringing out the ready meal. Doesn't need to be cooked, it's ready. 
education is the solution to all the problems that have been caused by lack of education in the past. So consciousness-based education is now the uh, officially voted and adopted as the core of the rehabilitation programs for the 27 countries of Latin America. Jay Gurudev, we end by ringing the bell of invincibility. Jay Gurudev.